The University of Texas at El Paso, in collaboration with Halliburton, presents The Wind Tunnel. Before operating any machinery, make sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. The Hempton Wind Tunnel consists of several different parts, including the inlet cone, the test section, the outlet cone, a manual traverse unit, as well as several control units allowing you to conduct many different experiments. In order to control the wind tunnel, you'll be using a computer running LabVIEW software. This software contains a velocity meter, shown here, which allows you to control the speed inside the wind tunnel, and also contains several pressure gauges, shown here, which allows you to tell the pressure drop in different sections of the wind tunnel. Using the manual traverse unit, we can place a pitot tube inside the wind tunnel, in the middle of the flow stream. This will allow us to tell the pressure drop, and this information will get relayed to the computer. The wind tunnel's test section contains a small removable window shown here. This allows us to put different shaped objects inside the wind tunnel. Placing different objects inside the wind tunnel, like a cylinder for example, allows us to see how different shaped objects affect the flow field. And using different speeds allows us to see the differences between things like laminar flow or turbulent flow. And using a combination of different shaped objects and different speeds allows us to run many different experiments using this wind tunnel. This concludes this video on the wind tunnel. If this video was helpful to you, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe.